Underrated. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on, guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Look, today we're going to talk about Invictus Victory Elixir. The original is super underrated, and honestly, I feel like the new Elixir is also pretty underrated. I don't know why the Invictus Victory lineup is just... Well, I do know why. It's a pretty simple fragrance, like many other fragrances that are out nowadays. I'm not talking about you, Altair, which is just like one or two accords, and it's just simple as that. But some Sometimes there's a beauty in simplicity, but this one takes that simplicity and ups it a notch. The original fragrance, in my opinion, has outstanding performance. It lasts easily eight hours and the projection is fantastic, but what you're projecting is relatively simple. It's pretty much just resin and vanilla, and that's as simple as it is, with a little bit of a citrus on top that really does make this one slightly bright and contrasting. It's not gonna be for everybody. If you enjoy vanillic fragrances, I think you're gonna like that one. This one, however, adds a little bit more complexity and takes that original playful DNA and adds more more raunchy, sexy, dirty earthiness. And in my opinion, it makes this one so much better, much more compliment worthy. And this is one that I've gotten numerous compliments on already. As you can see, I have the rinky dink bottle. This is the 1.7. And I've already, at the time of making this video, secured my 6.8 because I wanted to catch the hype before creating the hype. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. That's just the name of the game. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. But this fragrance, in my opinion, I don't think it's gonna you know, go up in prices. I'm just messing with you guys. I genuinely believe though that this one deserves more hype. It smells great. It takes that original DNA of vanilla. I mean, think about it. It's simple. Vanilla, amberwood, and patchouli. A vanilla fragrance with some added earthy nuances and some warmth. That's what this one does. It takes the original DNA, makes it much more sexier. And because of that, this performs a little bit better. There's more in the air than there is with the original one too. The original one is honestly forgettable now. I used to stand up for the original one. And at this point in time, there really is no point in it anymore. I would easily drop the original for this one any time of day. The original though I think is still more suited for the younger crowd so 25 and below or maybe even 23 and under. You could even wear that as a teenager in Victus Victory. Very nice sweet, playful, vanilla and easy. This one I would reserve more for like 22 and up. So if you're actually 20 and up, this is going to be more sexy. It's going to be a lot more for like dates. People that are looking for more date night type of fragrances. Sexy vibes. As far as the versatility goes, this in my opinion is pretty versatile. It's ambers, it's vanilla, it's patchouli. There's really nothing complicated to it, but it's very sexy. I have worn this to the gym and I'm an advocate for wear what you want when you want. If it works on you, then it works on you. So it really depends on each person, but if you feel like rocking it to the gym, rock it to the gym. Just don't spray it too much. Be considerate of where you're going because that's exactly what I did. And guess what? I got compliments and it worked for me. It's as simple as that. Vanilla, earthy, dirty, raunchy, sexy. Definitively masculine. It's not a fragrance that I think is unisex. And it's, it, yeah, this is a great one. A solid nine out of 10 in my opinion. Performance on this bad boy is 10 plus hours. Siage on this thing is is great as well. Really non-measurable. A lot of the Siage ratings and stuff like that, it's almost impossible to measure. If I get wafts, I'll say an arm's length and I usually just count or see how long the wafts last. And for this one, I got about or a good two hours of wafts from this fragrance. So two hours and arm's length. That's pretty much all I have to say about this fragrance. No need to stretch it out. Invictus Victory Elixir. Go to the mall and check it out for yourself. You don't have to buy a bottle. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button and until the next one, peace.